Hello, welcome back. So in the last video we attached a basic router to our server and now we're going to attach some logging and some uh, options so that way we can um, do more with the router. So we'll handle things like cores, um, uh, allowed methods, allowed origins, that sort of stuff, max age, allowed credentials, you know, recovery handler, uh, also a print stack for that recovery handler, that sort of stuff. But we need to have another library because what we have now is actually not enough. Enough. So we're going to grab the gorilla li um, pack, uh, the gorilla package of handlers like so. We're going to do make install, and then while it's running, we're going to go into our router up here. Oh, excuse me, our server, not our router. Okay, and we're going to actually, you know what? Maybe we should add this to our router and just return. You know what? No, because we're going to add routes in here. We don't, we don't actually want to do that. We're going to do it here. This makes more sense. Okay, so we need to have a handler. And that is going to be handler.logging. Oops. Handler. It's going to have os.standard out. Standard out. With handlers.cores. Like so. I'm going to pass in the router dot router into this um, function here. Um, actually, we need to do we need to actually need to run this as a function. This is actually a function. There we go. There we go. And then um, did it not uh, did it include it? Why is undefined handler? Oh. Okay. Oops. Handlers. There we go. And this needs to be here, like so. Okay. All right. So let's add some options to see what our cores here. Say so handlers dot allowed origins, and we're going to pass in a string, uh, um, a slice of strings here. We're gonna just going to say everything for now. We're going to allow everything. Okay. Um, gosh, that, that's very annoying. Handlers dot. We're going to do allowed methods. Um, for right now, we're just going to allow everything. You can restrict other stuff later on if you want to, you know, restrict uh, methods. Yes. But we're going to allow everything here. Post. Uh, let's see what else is there. Just put, and then delete, and then uh, options. Um, I guess patch. We probably won't use that, but um, yeah. Oh, we need comma. He already put the comma there. There we go. And then handlers dot. Gosh, it's very frustrating. Okay, um, allowed headers, and this is going to be a whole bunch of stuff. String, or of course, we'll allow content type, because that's important. We're going to allow the origin header, and we're going to allow cache control, because we'll allow them to control that if they want to. Um, X app token, we'll explain what that is later on. Um, and then X, uh, no. For now, this is all we're going to have. Um, let, let me explain what this is real quick. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Um, but So basically what's going on here is we're saying allow a request from anywhere. You can use any of these methods right here. And these are the um, headers that we're going to allow to come through. Uh, this is where we're going to store our JWT token later on, but not at the moment. Um, okay, so... Oh, messed that up. Handle, oh my gosh, <laughs> handlers, okay, exposed headers, uh, we're not going to have any at the moment, string, there we go, okay, and then we're going to say handlers dot, oops, handlers dot max age, uh, we'll just do a thousand for right now, um, and you can see here, determines the max age between pre-flight requests, um, maximum of 10 minutes is allowed, um, uh, any value will, uh, Wait, well, that can't be right. Uh, message in seconds. That's oh, no, in seconds. That's what I thought. Okay, okay, that, that's what I thought. Okay, we're good. Uh, handlers dot allow credentials, which actually we might actually not use this, but we'll have it for now. Okay, so we have this function that we created here. Now we need to do our very last bit here. So we'll say handlers actually going to be equal to handlers dot recovery handler. That's going to take the handlers dot print recovery stack true and then we're going to call this function and pass in the handler 
like so. Okay, uh, what's this complaint about? Can't use, did I? Oh, oops, double quotes. There we go. Okay, so this is basically allowing us to have an API and have remote access to this API. We don't have to worry quite so much about um, cross site origin requests because we're gonna have a JWT token to handle authentication. Um, so it's not really a big deal. Not only that, the API is also only gonna be available inside the Kubernetes network. So it doesn't matter. It's like, it's, you don't have to worry quite so much about this sort of stuff. Um, anyway, uh, at least in our, current, in our current setup, if you wanna modify this and, and you wanna you know, change how you're doing this, that's totally fine. But for our use case, this is what we're gonna do just, just to make it easier for now. Um, if you wanna read more about what these things are doing, by all means, uh, it's in the uh, documentation. You can go to, I believe it's just Gorilla, head Gorilla Headers, I believe is where it's at. Um, but anyway, just, just go to the, this GitHub right here, or this GitHub right here and uh, you can read a lot more about it. Okay, so now we have added a bunch of logging and uh, we're gonna just make sure it runs, cause, well it should, but make sure it runs. Uh, oh, it's already in use, oops, there we go. Okay, we're good to go. Well, that that's uh, handling cores and logging and in the next video, we're actually gonna add some real routes. I'll see you guys next time.